What's up guys, I'm Olivia and you're watching Driving and Vibin'. We're hanging out in the Airstream Nest right now, which is their new fiberglass travel trailer, so stay tuned. Welcome back to our channel everyone. Thank you guys so much for joining us today and thank you to Battleborn Lithium Ion Batteries for sponsoring this video series at RVX where we can bring you guys all the latest innovations in the RV industry and today we are hanging out in the Airstream Nest because we you know we have an affinity for molded fiberglass travel trailers and Airstreams so we wanted to kind of show you this one that's a little bit of both. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get started outside the nest. As you can see, it is a beautiful, sleek, molded fiberglass design, unlike any Airstream that has been manufactured before. And uh, we really like it because of its lightweight quality, but also it's just a little something different and something that we're used to with the molded fiberglass. I'm gonna take you right here on the uh, front of the trailer and open this up, show you what we're working with inside. So right in the front here, hidden by this beautiful box, you're gonna have your battery boxes where two batteries are located. Also the propane is located up here, but it comes back together very easily with these tension straps, closes, so it looks super sleek. Then also, it's ready for solar deployment. We have these ground deployed units right here from ZAMP. They can plug right in, be ready to charge up these batteries so you can boondock off grid and keep the energy flowing. So this molded fiberglass design is kind of like a three-part system. There's a top and a bottom and a back section from what we just learned about how these things are made and they are insulated on the inside as well so you won't have those annoying condensation problems like we have in the fiber stream. And another thing you'll notice from the outside is all of the windows. There's a very large window on the front here and windows all along the side here. They also have a carefree awning with a cool LED strip lighting in there as well. But we're gonna make our way around to the back where the door is and go check out the inside. So we're about to go into the inside. This is a unique kind of layout because the door is in the rear of the trailer. It kind of looks like we're about to enter into an airplane or a spaceship or something. It's a really kind of cool, unique door setup. There's also a nice handle here for entry and a step up. And let's go inside and check it out. as you walk in the entryway on this side we have a closet for our clothes and some pretty decent storage up in here there's a little shelf above and below for your hats and your shoes some hooks right as you walk in so you can keep your dog leash or your keys or whatever you need on this side is a wet bath and it looks pretty nice in here. There's a cool, like modern sh detachable shower head here, a mirror. It's a, you know, typical small bathroom for this size travel trailer, but it's really nice and well made as well. And there's some little features where you can hold bottles and different things so that they don't go rattling around. Let me go inside so you can kind of get an idea of how big it is. So this is the view from inside the wet bath. I'm sitting on the toilet right now. And if I stand up, I still have plenty of room and head space above me. Um, and there's like a little cabinet down below here where you can uh, keep your different toiletries and such. Thank you. 
moving forward, we have a small little Norcold refrigerator in here with a small freezer compartment, it looks like here. Yep. And then down below, we have a little microwave, convection oven, and what looks like some storage. No, this is gonna be like the fuse box and monitoring uh, the, the battery, it looks like, or the temperature. Moving on to the center of the trailer, we have the kitchen and prep area. And so this is the typical um, Dometic two burner propane stove here with the glass cover. And then we have a little square sink here with a cutting board top, which is pretty convenient. And I really like this built in uh, spice rack feature over here in the wall. That's really cute. And the storage overhead has this frosted glass panels that slide open which gives it like a really nice sleek look. On the opposite side, we have more counter space. So tons of prep area um, and storage underneath all of these sections. So there's a pretty decent amount of storage in here for how small it is. There's also lots of drawers here as well. That's some more overhead cabinets above and these little puck lights that you can turn on for some extra lighting in here. the front of the rig with this beautiful wraparound u-shaped dinette and this really cool funky blue upholstery color I really like the color scheme and vibe in here it's a lot of grays white the little blue accents here and there and this under lighting under the cabinet really gives it a cool vibe as well if you look right above us we have a cool skylight with a shade that you can pull over and also some more storage compartments with these bungees so you can stuff whatever you need to up there to keep them from moving around. This dinette will make into a pretty large size bed. I'm guessing it's probably about a full or a queen size bed. And if you look on the ceiling above us, we have a vent and a AC unit. So like it has everything you need. It's very comparable in size to our fiber stream travel trailer. Obviously a lot more counter space and more functionality in some of the areas. This has been a very cute modern take on something that's not very uh, common or conventional in the Airstream line so far, but I really right, like this, this take. Over. Thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed this video. We could not have made this video without the help of Battleborn Batteries, the whole reason we're here at RVX today. Yes, so if you want to learn more about lithium battery technology, we'll put a link below. We love the Battleborn Batteries, so we hope you check them out. Yeah, and there's even a drive and vibe and package, so <laughs> definitely check that out. See y'all later. Bye guys.